Get ready to be shocked as we reveal the discovery of the century. Scientists have unearthed what they believe to be the long-lost tomb of the legendary Genghis Khan, which was lost for ages. Joe Rogan, host of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, has recently shed light on this earth-shattering discovery and brought to light unsettling artifacts found within the tomb. Where is the location of the tomb, and what shocking artifacts were found within? Let's find out how scientists finally opened Genghis Khan's tomb, which was sealed for thousands of years. Several historical events have become the subject of popular myths, and few hold as much significance as the search for Genghis Khan's tomb. Revered as a national hero in Mongolia, his tomb is said to have been constructed in a way that made it nearly impossible to locate. Rumors suggest it was intentionally hidden in an unmarked location, ensuring its secrecy and protection. The search reflects the deep connection between the Mongolian people and their ancestral heritage, serving as a testament to the respect they hold for Genghis Khan and their commitment to preserving his legacy. The tomb's elusive nature has captured the imagination of people worldwide, making it an object of fascination and curiosity. Some theories suggest the tomb might be located near Genghis Khan's birthplace or in remote, mountainous regions of Mongolia, making it even more challenging to locate. In a recent episode, Joe Rogan and his guests dove into the mystery of Genghis Khan's burial site, revealing secret archaeological discoveries made in the last five years. Before we delve into the fascinating mythological and historical clues that led to these discoveries, it's important to understand some context about Genghis Khan himself. Genghis Khan, the legendary Mongol conqueror, was a man of remarkable vision, military genius, and unparalleled leadership. Born as Temujin in the rugged steppes of Mongolia in the 12th century, he went on to establish the largest contiguous empire in history. His rise to power was marked by his ability to unite several nomadic tribes under his leadership. Through a combination of strategic alliances, military campaigns, and political cunning, he solidified his authority and was proclaimed the Great Khan in 1206. This marked the beginning of his quest to create a vast empire that would stretch from Asia to Europe. One of Genghis Khan's most significant achievements was his military conquests. He led his armies to victory in numerous battles, employing innovative tactics and strategies that revolutionized warfare. The Battle of Jaxarts in 1219, where his forces triumphed over the Hwarazm Empire, showcased his military brilliance. His forces utilized superior horsemanship, archery skills, and disciplined cavalry units to overwhelm their opponents. This victory opened the doors to further conquests, including the famous siege of Nishapur and the capture of the Khwarazmian capital, Samarkand. Another notable battle in Genghis Khan's legacy was the Battle of Kalka River in 1223, where the Mongols clashed with the formidable Kievan Rus and their allies. Despite being outnumbered, Genghis Khan's forces emerged victorious, utilizing their superior mobility and coordination. This victory further expanded the Mongol Empire's reach and instilled fear in their enemies. One of the key aspects of Genghis Khan's empire was its religious tolerance. Unlike many conquerors of his time, Genghis Khan did not impose his own religious beliefs on the peoples he conquered. Instead, he allowed freedom of worship and respected the diversity of faiths within his empire. This policy helped foster unity among his subjects, as they were not forced to abandon their religious practices or convert to a specific faith. Genghis Khan's empire was a melting pot of different cultures, languages, and traditions. He recognized the value of incorporating the knowledge and expertise of diverse peoples into his administration. He employed skilled individuals from conquered territories in various administrative roles, promoting a system of meritocracy. This approach allowed for the efficient governance of his vast empire and facilitated the exchange of ideas and innovations. Genghis Khan also actively sought out scholars, engineers, and artisans from different cultures to contribute to the development of his empire. He encouraged the sharing of knowledge and the exchange of technologies, leading to advancements in various fields. This cultural exchange had a profound and lasting impact on the societies within the Mongol Empire, as well as on neighboring regions. One of the most significant examples of Genghis Khan's openness to other cultures was his relationship with the Islamic world. Despite being a non-Muslim himself, he recognized the importance of Islamic civilization and its wealth of knowledge. Genghis Khan established diplomatic relations with Muslim leaders and several religious scholars, fostering cultural and intellectual exchanges. He even appointed Muslim advisors to his court, 
benefiting from their expertise in governance, trade, and administration. Genghis Khan's death in 1227 marked the end of an era and created a significant void in the Mongol Empire. He passed away while leading a military campaign in the western regions of his empire, concluding a long and eventful life. Historians continue to speculate and debate the exact cause of his death. According to historical accounts, Genghis Khan fell from his horse during a hunt and sustained injuries that ultimately led to his demise. Some sources propose that he suffered from internal injuries or complications resulting from the fall, while others suggest that he may have succumbed to illness or infection. Keep watching to discover why Joe Rogan finds this shocking discovery fascinating and believes that it can impact relations between multiple countries. However, before delving into that, let's examine why the tomb is considered a mystery. Why is Genghis Khan's tomb such a big deal? The tomb of Genghis Khan has long been a subject of fascination, inspiring legends, novels, and academic inquiries. While factual accounts have been scarce, tales and rumors have abounded. According to the stories, Genghis Khan, the Mongol conqueror, commanded that his final resting place be hidden from the world. It was believed that anyone involved in the burial was executed to ensure the eternal secrecy of its location. There were even rumors of rivers being diverted to flow over the tomb and wild horses being set loose to erase any traces of its existence. With such a veil of myth shrouding the tomb, its whereabouts have remained one of history's greatest mysteries, captivating imaginations for centuries. Historians and archaeologists have faced a challenging dilemma in their quest to uncover the tomb. On one hand, they strive to honor local traditions and respect Mongolia's view of Genghis Khan as a national hero and spiritual figure. The nation has regarded disturbing the Khan's resting place as forbidden territory, both literally and culturally. This tension between scientific inquiry and cultural sensitivity has kept the tomb's location enveloped in secrecy and taboo. Despite numerous attempts to find it, combining scientific expertise with local folklore, disappointment has been the only outcome. Nevertheless, the allure of discovering Genghis Khan's tomb has never waned. It goes beyond the appeal of treasure or the prospect of uncovering invaluable historical artifacts. It is a testament to the insatiable human desire to solve a riddle that has perplexed generations. Archaeologists have meticulously studied ancient texts, scrutinized satellite images, and even analyzed the migratory patterns of local animals in search of clues. Folk stories have pointed towards a sacred mountain called Burkhan Khaldun in northeastern Mongolia as a possible guardian of the secret everyone yearns to uncover. Then, guided by an invisible hand of fate, came the groundbreaking discovery. The notion that scientists could unravel this historical mystery was seen by many as audacious, if not sacrilegious. Yet, in an era where technology can explore the far reaches of the universe, it was perhaps inevitable that we would eventually turn our gaze toward the hidden recesses of our own past. That day has arrived, and the revelation is nothing short of earth-shattering. No longer are we left to weave tales around campfires about what might lie within Genghis Khan's tomb. We now possess tangible, incontrovertible evidence that punctures the ballooning myths that have captivated us for so long. The significance of this finding cannot be overstated. What was found in Genghis Khan's tomb? What were the challenges encountered in an attempt to unearth this tomb? In a stunning turn of events, a team of archaeologists has made an extraordinary discovery that has reignited the global fascination with the legendary Genghis Khan and set off a wave of intrigue and debate. This remarkable find took place in a remote region near the Burkhan Khaldun Mountain in Mongolia a location long speculated to be the final resting place of the great conqueror. The team, originally on a mission to study ancient climate patterns by examining soil sediments, stumbled upon a burial site that appeared to be meticulously crafted and befitting a leader of immense importance. Equipped with state-of-the-art scientific instruments, the archaeologists embarked on an extensive excavation process to unearth the secrets of this site. Ground-penetrating radar was utilized to map the subterranean structure while advanced metal detectors identified artifacts buried beneath the surface. Drones equipped with high-resolution cameras provided an aerial perspective of the challenging terrain. These technological tools converged to reveal an elaborate burial site adorned with intricate carvings, symbols of power, and remnants of ceremonial offerings. The pivotal moment came when inscriptions resembling the ancient Mongol script were deciphered, pointing strongly to this being the tomb of Genghis Khan. As news of the discovery spread, the world held its breath. 
This find had the potential to reshape our understanding of history and challenge long-held narratives. Scientists and historians eagerly awaited the unveiling of the tomb's contents, but the discovery presented its own set of complications. Given the monumental significance of the find for Mongolia's heritage, the Mongolian government had to be involved at every step of the excavation process. Ethical considerations loomed large as questions arose about the propriety of disturbing a site deeply entwined with Mongolian culture and identity. Nevertheless, the meticulous work continued, with scientists working tirelessly in specialized gear around the clock. Onlookers and local officials maintained a respectful distance while periodic updates provided glimpses into the progress, fueling discussions and debates ranging from academic to existential. The magnitude of the discovery prompted experts from various fields to lend their insights. Linguists examined inscriptions, historians consulted ancient texts for corroborative evidence, and anthropologists weighed in on the cultural implications. The interdisciplinary approach underscored the sense of awe shared by all involved in this extraordinary endeavor to rewrite chapters in the annals of human history. As archaeologists and researchers prepared to open what was now almost certainly Genghis Khan's tomb, there was an undeniable sense of unease. The grandiosity typically associated with significant historical discoveries was conspicuously absent, replaced by an atmosphere of apprehension. It was clear that what lay within those ancient stone walls was more than a trove of historical treasures, it was something perplexing and chilling that had the potential to redefine our understanding of Genghis Khan and the era he dominated. Carefully breaking the seals, the team uncovered objects of grandeur, including gem-encrusted swords, ink scrolls that had not faded despite the passing centuries, and ornate armor showcasing the craftsmanship of its time. But as they delved deeper, they encountered artifacts that defied explanation. Some objects were composed of materials far more advanced than anything expected from the 13th century. Anachronistic gadgets with unknown purposes and rudimentary mechanical devices hinted at a level of technological sophistication beyond the known capabilities of that era. The inscriptions and symbols on these artifacts added to the mystery. They resembled no known language and were etched with remarkable precision as if executed by machinery rather than human hands. Experts from different fields were unable to identify the origins or meanings of these inscriptions, suggesting knowledge or entities that remain unknown. The mystery deepened when DNA samples from the remains in the tomb yielded inexplicable results. The genetic markers contained anomalies distinct from any known lineage, defying categorization and suggesting a lineage unknown to humanity. This departure from the norm raised unsettling questions about the nature of Genghis Khan's identity and hinted at something far more mysterious and complicated than previously imagined. Among the most disturbing finds were ritualistic items indicating practices not recorded in Mongol traditions. Ceremonial daggers arranged in intricate patterns, containers filled with unidentified organic compounds, and inscriptions alluding to celestial bodies and cosmic events hinted at a belief system lost to history or possibly something even more otherworldly. One particularly perplexing artifact was a parchment resembling a map. It depicted landforms unidentifiable in any known geography almost as if it represented a different world altogether. Alongside the map were stones with translucent qualities emitting a faint glow. Electronic devices brought near these stones malfunctioned inexplicably, suggesting a level of technology beyond our understanding. These discoveries went beyond scientific categorization and ventured into existential territory. If these artifacts were indeed from Genghis Khan's era, they implied a level of knowledge and understanding practically alien when compared to previous assumptions about that period. The unsettling question arose, what if Genghis Khan was part of a narrative far more complex and unsettling than previously considered? As news of these perplexing artifacts spread, reactions varied from skeptical dismissals to wild speculation. Some skeptics argued that the artifacts were elaborate hoaxes or products of a misinterpretation. Others proposed more mundane explanations, suggesting that these objects were the result of cultural exchange or trade with distant lands. The most significant geopolitical impact of this discovery, perhaps, lay in the profound shift in global consciousness it ignited. The tomb's existence and its mysterious contents compelled nations and individuals alike to confront the limitations of their knowledge and beliefs. Just as the moon landing in 1969 united people around a momentous human achievement, the discovery of Genghis Khan's tomb united them around an enigmatic mystery, challenging the very foundations of science, history, and culture.
While the scientific community argued that decoding the mysterious DNA sequences held potential benefits for humanity at large, others, particularly within Mongolia, perceived ownership of Genghis Khan's genetic material as an infringement upon national and personal heritage. The emotional weight of the issue became palpable as descendants of Mongolian tribes vehemently opposed the notion of sharing his genetic material with the world. In his exploration of the far-reaching implications of the discovery of Genghis Khan's tomb, Joe Rogan delved into the complexities and controversies surrounding the historical, cultural, and geopolitical landscape.